All right, here we go. Make sure you got all your stuff before you can get started. Man, and a barking dog no help. Hush, you guys, please. Let me see what I get. All right. Make sure you got a measuring cup, sugar, a funnel, a pair of scissors, a marking pen. Uh, I use a half a teaspoon. You can use an eighth of a teaspoon. And I use Baker's yeast. You don't have to use uh, that wine yeast. It costs you more money. Yeah, I'm all in to save the money. Gotta give a damn pair of scissors after this one. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna cut this one. We'll get pre done here. Alright, here we go. Put that over there. Put that on my paper. Alright, what I did with this watermelon juice, 100% juice. So I poured out two cups. Here we go. Measure two cups. Get these better jars. You got to measure and still call them. All right. What the hell is the lid? There it is. Uh, okay. Then I put the funnel in here. Let's see if you can see it. Well, I got to turn it up a little bit. All right. About there. I put my funnel in. And then, or as about as simple as you can get. I take in my sugar. Gotta open the damn thing first. I got scissors. What the hell am I tearing shit for? I'm gonna make some, uh, uh, watermelon rind preserves and pickles watermelon <laughs> preserves and some oh draw ants for spell it alright make sure you got a full cup okay that's good enough and then a cup Pour the sugar in. And a half. I turn it around so you can measure the half. Okay, here we go. A cup and a half sugar. You can go up to two cups if how sweet you like it. A cup and a half is fine for me. And it, now this is right it in there. All right. Knock all that off. And then I take my yeast. I can't never say that right. Yeast. All right. Some people say you can use. Now you will have to have a juice uh, room temperature. Everything's got to be room temperature. I, some people say you can use a quarter of a cup. I like using, I mean, a, uh, half a eighth of a teaspoon. I use a I use a half a teaspoon. That's my yeast. Pull that back up. Now this is the tricky part. Got to put the lid back on, and you shake it until all that sugar has dissolved. I mean, you cannot shake it enough. You gotta make sure, and this is the only time you shake it, the only time you move it. Just keep on working on it. Now you gotta leave a little head space. You gotta make sure that sugar is dissolved.
Um, Alright. Shaky, 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 shaky. Alright, once that's done, could go a little bit more. Don't be worried about over shaking it. But anyway, next project. I leave it to where the lids are just barely setting on it. And I'll tell you what, if you don't like that, just set on it like that. Uh. I, uh, you can put a coffee filter on it. I could have got the coffee filter. And a rubber band. I ain't got no damn rubber bands handy. But you can take this off, put your coffee filter on it with a rubber band. Let's see if I can do something. I'm going to try something. Do nothing anyway. Come on now, give me a break. I need my damn... Here we go. Now this has got to set for 30 days. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's put that back here. I'll be right back. <laughs> I should have got this. I'm going to try something. 30 days is what it's got to set. And, and that, you got to put the day's date on it. And it won't be wide until 30 days. I'm back. Believe that crap it up. I'm, all, I'm always forgetting something. Now a lot of people just set the lid on it. Well, I like to use it because I'm gonna tell you something. When this starts fermenting, if that stuff sets up or around that lid and seals it off, it blow up. Much like making beer. I don't like beer. I use hops, so I use them for a uh, painkiller. I'll show you that one in there, babe. Uh, I use a coffee filter. My something is supposed to bring me down. Uh, uh, rubber bands, but he, he forgot. I like that one. Make sure your lids are wiped off clean. Now that'll set. With that coffee filter on there. And I like to see if it's fermenting. So pretty soon, that'll all start bubbling up. Now, I'm good about watching, using coffee filters. I make my vinegar something similar to this. Now, the next thing you got to do uh, uh, is you got to put today's date on it. I think today is uh, 10... Get your permanent marker, 10, right, 10 slash 28, 23. All right. Now, I'll only keep it in these containers for 30 days. And they got the seal on them, the good housekeeping seal, that star, whatever you want to call that thing. And... Then, I set them in a dark place, or I cover them up with a tea towel. In a cool, dark place. And you don't have to use a tea towel, but all my underneath cabinets has got other things in them, so I'll wrap a tea towel around them and just push them back on the counter. So that's one. Let's make another one. All right, 
chance to hurt you. Oh, you look good in the head. All right. Let's slide that one out of the way. All right. We got uh, cranberry and cherry. We got grape. And we got uh, a raspberry. And we got uh, cranberry with a... I don't know. This is, this is a fruit cake. But I'm going to use it. Let's put it in this. Okay. Best for friends. It's cram pure cranberry juice. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say raspberries next. And I like raspberry. All right. At this time, I'm taking the lid off. Don't get old. That's my advice. Ain't no damn future in it. All right. I'm using this as a rubber band. A lot of people don't get to the damn store and bring what you need. But like I said, it's a good bartering. I can turn it. If I get my steel going, I can de make this even stronger. Make it like a sherry out of it. Oh, I'm telling you. You got to be careful. You cut your hand. Should have all this off, but I don't have no rubber bands. My person didn't bring them. Damn, that was hard to get off. I keep it to working at it, I get it. But anyway, like I said, I'm stocking up. And I hope everybody else is. <sighs> a lot easier to get you buy your damn rubber bands. All right, got him. All right. Now I take my jar and I look for 16 ounces, two cups. That's twice what your daily income is. I mean, daily vitamin income, anyway. Whoa, baby. All right, I'm going to pour out two cups. Hope you can see me. Where are that? Okay, where are This is two cups side. And it's important that you pour out two cups. Some people's done a cup and a half, and it ain't that damn good when you get there. Because if you don't have headspace, you'll have all that stuff blowing up in your stuff. All right, let me put the lid back on this stuff. I'm going to make me some jelly out of this. i got to get me some cure gel first. Don't have any with me right on hand. Okay, 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 let's put that in over there. All right, next project, put your funnel in it. Ain't too damn hard. All right. All right, I'm gonna pour. This is a cup of sugar. And then a half. You can go more, you can go a little bit less, but you can't go too much less. I would never cut it below a cup because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, that yeast has to have sugar to work. But now some of these fruit deals have sugar enough in them to work. But I don't take that damn chance. Uh, then you take your yeast. Baker's yeast, you can go high dollar and get wine yeast, but yeast, but there ain't no damn sense in it. 
I gotta open this damn thing. If it's any more complicated, I would be able to do it, I guess. Some people say an eighth of a teaspoon. I use a half a teaspoon. Because I want the damn thing to work. If you cut back a little bit here, a little bit there, the shit won't work. Alright, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Put your lid on it. Now, it's got a best date by. Uh, I don't go by that shit. And then I shake it. I shake it, shake it, shake it. That's the important part. Shake it till that sugar dissolves. Just shake the hell out of it. Like I said, I'm getting ready to do a lot of canning stuff. I would, don't trust nobody. Put your stuff up. Hunger's a hell of a damn thing to do. Oh, flavored cocktail. Oh, well, yeah, cocktail my ass. Gonna be me some damn cooking wine or drinking wine. Doctor said I can have four ounces a day. And I like that idea. Alright. I said that shook it up pretty good. Get me another coffee filter. Yeah, the Middle East is all up in arms. We can't do nothing about it, one way or the other, but pray. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that's what the good Lord said. All right, then you put this on there. Now, where's that ring I had, because I ain't got no more. I ain't, right. I hate when it gets wet before I do it. I'll wipe that off. Got plenty of damn coffee filters. It's gonna get wet anyway, I'm gonna tell you that right now. But I like to start off with dry. Alright, that's number two. Fold it up so you can see it work. Oh, that's a double. Oh, well, that's alright. Alright, let's pick another one. I got one more jar. I'm gonna pick grape juice. 100% grape juice. 100%. That's the key word you gotta get 100% grape juice. Or 100% any kind of juice. Alright. Got my jar. I make a little, I take this and I make a little half pints of jelly out of it. Just bring it up to a boil, put a little sugar gel in it. And it's already been stained, strained, cleaned, and all that good shit. Now, I put these in the refrigerator till I get the sugar gel. I'll get that in a day or two. But I have it in the fridge. All right, let me take this off. Damn arthritis. All I can do is take it off. Oh boy, that one came off with the rings. How about that? That's a, that's a blessing. Okay, gotta pour out two cups. Important because you need headspace in this thing. Sixteen ounces, two cups. I'm gonna pour it off stream, but you got the general idea. Now this will make me a little bit. I say a half pint, or around a half pint, a little bit more, of a jelly when I get my sugar gel. Put it on the stove in a small pot. You don't have to get crazy. And then uh, I got to make some jelly. Oh, my arthritis. All right, now what's the next step, people? Oh, think about it. Think about it. There's the funnel. The next step is what? I need sugar. I, need, I gotta buy me a 25 pound bag, but I just grabbed this one because it was close. Now I'm gonna take this one and put one cup and a half a cup. It's a cup and a half of sugar. It's 
gonna run down. It's a running. But like I said, the way it is, see how it's coming up? Now I need this much headspace. You'll have about two inches of headspace. Uh, uh, for your, uh, I gotta put my nice, and I gotta put my yeast in, yeast west, south, whatever you can call it. And I use baker's yeast. You can go get what you want. I use a half a teaspoon. That's what this damn thing says. Half a teaspoon. One of these packs will make you basically four jugs. All right. Pick up your coffee filter. Now, if your coffee filter starts getting bad, because I always keep an eye on my stuff, but if it starts getting really bad, what I do is I will change it out for a new coffee filter without trying to shake the jug too much. Okay. All right. Oh shit, I forgot to shake this one. Alright. Put the lid on. I must forget a step. Shakey, 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 shakey. And this is the last time you shake it, really the last time you use it, unless your coffee filter gets corroded and they can't breathe. And I just change them out. It ain't no biggie. Or if I have a cloth, or you can use a cloth, or you can use a rubber band, usually is what I use, but uh, my rubber band guy didn't come. We know who that is. <sighs> but he'll be here later. You know, always... See how this foams up? Now that's actually the yeast. This one here will work faster than one of these. And then you put this on there. You got to get the damn lid off first. Never leave the lid on them tight. If you do, see some people just set it on top like that. Well, I've had them blow off and then flies and stuff to get down in. I don't like it. it I like a clean wine. But that's my third one. Now, that would be almost half a gallon of wine in 30 days. Now, i got to mark the dates on them. would be 10... 28 slash 23. 10 slash 28 slash 23. And use a permanent marker. Sometimes people write it up here on the, on the coffee filter itself. I'd rather really write it down here on the label. And I have wrote it across the top. But that's three, three half gallons. I think I see this is what these are. How many damn ounces are these trying to cheat me? Okay, front side. 100% vitamin C. Uh, this is a white canned punch. Made out of peaches, grapes, everything. 100%. It's 64 fluid ounces. I pour out, which would be 16 ounces. Now, this one here. This has got peach, cranberry, and the juice off of them. But there's, there's almost, see how it's, I'll turn it up here so I can see them work. Now, I, like I said, I'm going to put them in an area that I, uh, dark area. I'll probably put them in, uh, uh, my, uh, what they call one of them bins. Uh, totes or whatever you can call it. Let them sit down there. I don't put the lid on the tote. I just probably should, but I want it to breathe. <clears throat> and that's what I've got going. <sighs> and it's easy to make. Now, what was your recipe? Ah, okay, you buy one of these jugs. <clears throat> and you turn it around and you pour two cups of fluid out of it. And then you turn around and use two, I mean a cup and a half of sugar. And then you use half a teaspoon of uh, yeast. Now I make this up for myself. Read and do all your research yourself. I ain't an expert in anything. 
I just do what the hell I like. <clears throat> so, but I've learned over the years how to do things. What's my baby doing over there? He's she coming over here to see what I'm doing. Uh, I, little guy, what are you doing, Daddy's baby? You're my dead baby puppy. Everybody knows he's in the baby puppy. But uh, no, I'm not holding you. Go away. Because you know better. When I'm making a video, I don't get to hold you. But like I said, this will make me some good jelly. It'll be a half, a half pint. To, uh, see, this is a quart. So it'll be about a half pint time I cook it down and put your jelly in it. So you, but it'll be jelly. And uh, now I cook with this. When you're doing stuff like uh, all the other stuff you do, you can you can pour out some and cook with it. And make your own wine. Hell, that stuff they sell in the store is six to what, six percent, something like that. Ain't worth shit. That's backings. Uh, now, if I want to get real serious with this, I don't think. What the hell did you do down this side, little, big little guy? <laughs> Uh, I will take getting the steel out, set it on the stove, and uh, pour the, this wine in when I get two or three of them light. Now it takes two or three of them. And then I will distill it down. This big boy. No, I'm busy. <laughs> you should see it. <laughs> but anyway, I'll distill it down and make it 60, 80 proof. Like a, like a, oh, like a sherry or a, Something like that. But I've got to start doing, get all this out of my way. I'm going back to the store when the weather turns good. I'm going to have about 20, about 20 half gallons uh, uh, put up. Uh, and that, that way, when now I will bottle cap this with my damn bottles. I will bottle cap this. Uh, buy these damn bottles at uh, Goodwill. Okay. After it's, uh, this is actually my vinegar bottle, if you want to know the truth. I make good vinegars. You can take this, pour it in an open jar like this, put a good, uh, after it turns to wine, pour and put another filter on it. I'll use a cloth at that stage. And let it, uh, let it ferment past wine and makes vinegar. But vinegar requires a bunch of oxygen and you gotta make sure you stir it every day. But that's the truth on that, sir. But anyway, I can make my own vinegar, but cooking with my own vinegar is good. But I take these, and this was my vinegar jug, but it'll turn it into a little wine jug. I always I take a piece of paper, one of them tickets from I don't know what it is. But hell, I can always open the damn thing up and find out what it is. But they make great vinegar jugs. Uh, but I've got all kinds of wine bottles. People give them to me after they drink a wine. I'll recork them. I don't use a damn lid. I got a bag of corks. But, it's, but anyway, you got the general idea here uh, how to make your own wine. Now you can go through cutting up fruit and let it sour and all that stuff. Well, I can do that too. But I found out this is the easiest, fastest way. And I can make my, I can make my little jelly out of it. And uh, everything else. I always put a little, in, in my jelly, I always put a little lemon juice in it. Because it brings the acid up to it. You guys quit? Now I'm done. I'm done today. Besides, uh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to make some more medicine. Uh, I'm going to make it. i got a bunch of stuff. You leave that bag alone. I'm not going to pick it up in a minute. But that's it, people. I'll make this other stuff off screen and get it, get it put up. Have a great day. Remember, it's up to you how well or how good, how well off you want to live. And when there ain't no more medicines in the store, there ain't no more uh, anything in the store you can buy, you'll thank God for what you did put up. I, I gotta go. I'm, like I said, I'm doing something every day. So that conflict is over with. 
If you don't want to watch it, find me how I'm putting it up for myself. Uh, I will let you go. Have a great day.